All right, um, so um, we're about to release our new product. And uh, the only problem is it's running a little bit slowly. So I was tasked to investigate this, dug into it, and found there's some operation that's, that's, that's a bit slow. Uh, uh, but it's easily replaced by a lookup table. Um, so I'm going to do that, OK? Um, and I've been asked to do this with completely normal C++ code, because apparently I have a, a reputation or something. <laughs> All right, so this is the start of our lookup table. We're going to store an array of what we get when we increment numbers. Make sense? OK, so start with 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh-oh. I spilled coffee on my keyboard. And all of my alphanumeric keys are broken. All I have left is punctuation. I can still type symbols. But the deadline's approaching. We need to get this lookup table finished. So I guess we're stuck. Can't do it. OK, talk over. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, wait, does anyone have an idea? Can you do keywords? Uh, operator plus on lambdas? Mm, operator plus on a lambda? And then bang bang. The... Uh, maybe. Uh, that's, that's a bit too much typing, but lambda seems like a good idea. <laughs> does everyone uh, see what uh, what Andy was suggesting? No? Can you see it now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't return, no. Maybe you can see it now. <laughs> OK, so this. OK, so what's this doing? We have a lambda. We're applying an exclamation mark to it. How can that possibly work? Implicit conversion to function pointer. Right. So this is false. Make sense? And this is true. OK, so <laughs> good so far? Now, I'm supposed to be using completely normal C++ code, so we can't use these things, right? Because we, to use these things, we'd be performing an implicit conversion from bool to end. And that's no good. That's not normal. That won't pass code review. <laughs> so how are we going to write 0? Ideas? Subtract the lambda from itself. Subtract the lambda. That's too much typing. I want the shortest way of doing this. Sorry. I'm not made of fingers. <laughs> Come on. Okay, other ideas? So here, plus? plus false. Unary plus. Interesting idea. But will unary plus pass code review? No, I don't think so. Unary minus will, though. <laughs> All right, so we've got zero. How do we make one? Incre well, we can't increment because this isn't, a, this isn't an L value. Um, Minus, that's still too much typing. What about this? <laughs> you know, take, um, take false and complement it to get a whole bunch of ones, and then negate that, and we get one. Fantastic, right? And what about two? I, I heard shift, but shift is quite long. So I have two lambdas, that's a lot of typing. Minus tilde again, brilliant, yes. And three, I think we may be seeing a pattern here now. <laughs> yes, minus tilde again, fantastic. OK, let's skip down a bit to a more interesting one. What about eight? What's the best way of doing eight? What do we think? Not just more tildes and left shift. Left shift, yes, good idea. Let's take one and left shift by three. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what about nine? What do we think the best way of doing nine is? Can we just add another one to the end of that? We could add another one to the end of that. Yeah, we could add one to that. But we'd need parens, and that's, that's loads of characters. Can we do better? Well, I mean, OK, let's, let's think about factorization. Um, three times three. Yeah, we could do three times three. Three times three is still a bit long. So what about minus three times minus three? <laughs> That's short. Yeah, it's two <laughs> characters shorter. All right, so we can just carry on like that, and we get a wonderful uh, table. And then um, maybe we can write some more of this, keep it going a while longer. And yeah, this is starting to look like a good lookup table. We're nearly done, right? <laughs> but uh, Tony once said that every good talk should have a, a graph in it, or maybe a giraffe, I'm not sure which. So does that look like a graph? Yeah. What about now? Still feels like we're missing something, though, right? What are we missing? A 
log table. A log scale. A log scale. <laughs> All right, so let's put this on a log scale. And surprisingly, maybe, um, it's approximately a straight line. Um, so this is, uh, the red line there is uh, about log to the base b of n plus 5. Plus 5 sort of makes sense because that's the length of the lambda. b comes in at about 1.136. So we're writing numbers in base 1.136. Maybe not super efficient, but you know, it gets the job done. And you know, there may be better options if your keyboard works. <laughs> also, uh, before we finish, don't forget, forget the closed race. <laughs> Congratulations, you have written a lookup table. <laughs>